This is the World Organic News Podcast for the week ending 4th of April 2016. John Moore reporting. This episode of the World Organic News Podcast is brought to you by Gem Biscuits. Gem Biscuits make gluten-free, sorghum flour-based biscuits and cookies. Choc chip, hazelnut choc chip, coffee hazelnut choc chip and the original spicy sorghum. All these are handmade with, of course, organic ingredients. These biscuits are the bomb. Please check out the website, gembiscuits.com. That's jembiscuits.com. A link is in the show notes. One post this week has affected me more than any other. It refers to the approval of a coal mine in central Queensland. The Carmichael coal mine is a monster of a mine. Links in the show notes. It represents so much that is in focus right now. After the Paris Climate Conference last year with its soaring rhetoric and goal of no more than 1.5 degrees C rising global temperature, why has this hole in the ground been approved? But the logic gets even more confused. The mine is over, into and through the greatest water storage in Australia. That's Australia, the driest inhabited continent on the only planet we have. This water is the lifeblood of the western pastoral industry. An industry which has capped open bores, piped to watering points, cut its water wastage by orders of magnitude since the last great drought. Yet this monstrosity of a mine will use huge amounts of water. And mines have a way of becoming giant sinkholes for the one critical requirement to food production west of the Great Dividing Range. Water. But wait, it gets better. Or is that more unbelievable? Once the coal is out of the ground, it will be transported by rail to the coast, just south of Mackay. Just to the east of Mackay is the Great Barrier Reef. So an increase in maritime activity, a fragile reef suffering from a severe bleaching event, coal, bulk carrier ships, the greatest coral reef on the planet, and all this in a cyclone region. What could possibly go wrong? But best of all, the approval process is legal. If you write the legislation for the benefit of an industry, an industry with well-established history of funding both sides of politics, then it probably comes as no surprise that mines are approved. This is only one of many such applications on the way through the approval process. Another mine in New South Wales is to be set up on a ridge above the Liverpool Plains. The argument is, if it's on the ridge, it's not in the plains. And the Liverpool plains are, if not the breadbasket, then one of the breadbaskets of this continent. And why the Liverpool plains so good for grain production? They have extensive aquifers. These are part of a much wider, pressurised hydrological system. If, say, an open-cut mine were to puncture one of these aquifers, then the whole system could depressurise the breadbasket becomes a black soil Sahara. Are the downsides of these projects worth all the CO2 they'll create? Are they worth the few jobs a mechanised mine will provide? Are they worth possibly wrecking the Great Barrier Reef? And coal? Really? Haven't we learnt anything? Clearly COP21 was more of an elaborately crafted media-focused cop-out. We must bring root and branch changes to our political systems. If the laws are at fault, which is arguable, then it's time to change the lawmakers and then the laws. Having been distracted by bread and circuses since the fall of the Berlin Wall, we are starting to stir from our slumbers. Change is coming. This week we will not be following John Seymour's views on fruit growing, but I'll pick them up next week. Sometime in the next week... Please don't forget to check out www.gembiscuits.com. Any suggestions, feedback or criticisms are most welcome. Email me at john at worldorganicnews.com. That's John, J-O-N, no H. A transcript of each episode is available on the blog at www.worldorganicnews.com under the tab Podcasts. The sounds used in this podcast are courtesy of Texas Radio Theatre Company on the free sound site. Links are in the show notes. Thanks for listening. I'll be back in a week.